So we move on to Sumo's special or unique techniques. So called because they don't seem to properly fit into any of the orthodox pushing, throwing, twisting or tripping categories we've already covered. Tsuridashi, combining the characters for lift and put out, is thus the lift out. To ease the strain on your arms, try to carry as much of your foe's weight as possible on your stomach. Otoshi, we've already learned, means drop. Tsuri Otoshi is thus a lift and drop. And as Enho is almost at a 90 degree angle when he lifts, the lift itself, not the winning move, would be called Yokotsuri, the sideways lift. That's the same Yoko as in Yokozuna and Yokohama, but in those cases it means horizontal. Okuri, meaning to send or send off, describes in sumo several techniques conducted from behind. Had Enho lifted Akua from behind, for example, the technique would have been called Okuri Tsuri Dashi. Had he then dropped him, it would have become Okuri Tsuri Otoshi. We can pin Okuri to other words we know to make five more techniques. Okuri Dashi, to send someone out, is where you help someone on their way to the ring's edge with a push from behind. Okuri Taoshi is when your foe falls over under the effects of such a push. Okuri Nage is a throw from behind, like so. Okuri Gake is a trip from behind. And Okuri Hiki Otoshi is a pull down from behind. Of course, though, the pull and drop from the front, simply Hiki Otoshi, is far more often seen. Here, the pull is what distinguishes it from Tsuki Otoshi, the thrust and drop. Another move with the character for pull, Hiku, is Hikake, whereby you take a foe's stray arm with both hands, one on the outside, the other on the inside, and pull him either over or out. In everyday Japanese, the word hataku is used to describe general slapping or striking. But in sumo, it seems to have the nuance of slap forward or slap someone towards you. This often leads to mistakes such as inviting the opponent in for an easy push out. What the blundering wrestler was likely hoping for, perhaps against hope, was hatakikomi, the thorough forward slap where you slap the back, the shoulder or the arm forward and into the ground. Or having created distance, the wrestler might have tried for sokubi otoshi, a pull on the neck or rear of the head with either hand or arm to send his foe to clay. Two special techniques are described with the character for double clamp or double clinch, kimeru. Kimedashi, a favorite of Teru no Fuji's, sees you clamp a foe's arms from the outside and drive them out of the ring. Kimetaoshi, the clamp and knock over, is a crush out or crush down from a clamping position. Ushiro motare, literally backward lean, often happens by accident after another move fails and involves nudging your foe out with your back. Uchari, comprised of the words strike and fling away, is used in everyday Japanese to describe a last moment reversal of the situation. In sumo, it's the pivot throw at the edge when all seems lost. No more need be added. Yobi modoshi is not unlike a wrestling clothesline. Yobu or yobikomu means to bring someone close in, and modosu means sending them back whence they came. Thus, 
draw your foe into your chest, then slam your arm into his armpit to knock him over. The move was a favourite of the first Wakanohana, but is hardly ever seen now. And finally, another sumo rarity is Waridashi, because it always tends to end up as a Yorikiri or Oshidashi. This term describes a situation where you either push or grab an opponent's bicep with one hand, and either take the belt or lock their opposite arm with the other, seemingly from an almost side-on position. Momentum then causes the two of you to break apart, hence the character Wareru, and if he steps over the rope, that becomes Waridashi.